Hey everyone, it's uh, your boy Garmadon Car, Garmelius Carmelius, and today I have some very exciting news. So everyone knows the ReZero Season 3 anime is very hyped up, and I have actually gotten some juicy details regarding uh, stuff like episode count, release date, director, uh, I know some of the staff positions involved, um, and actually my source, um, I don't want to say who it is, but a certain big ice cube, uh, I mean, what? He sent me some cool stuff. Uh, he sent me a clip uh, leaked from White Fox, the animation studio. Uh, and this is actually a clip uh, regarding the Arc6 adaptation. It's a piece of added content, and it's a it's actually a pretty lengthy clip, but I'm going to be sharing that with you today. And I guess we'll, we'll watch it, we'll analyze it, I'll discuss what it means for the anime adaptation. And yeah, after we get through all that, I'll share a few more of the leaked details. But yeah, this is going to be super hype. So, I'm... Arc 6 is one of my favorite arcs, so I'm super excited to watch this leaked uh, anime clip. But yeah, uh, let's give it a look. Okay, let me put on my reaction cam, because I haven't actually watched it yet, but I'm really excited. Okay guys, uh, here's the clip. Uh, it's, it's, uh, I found it, it looks pretty cool. It's... Uh, yeah, let, let's give it a watch. I'm really excited. Not salsa, not flamenco, my brother. Oh, okay. So this is a, uh, this is Miles, Miles from uh, EX One. He was in EX One, uh, the Felix Argyle's Curse chapter. So this is a character from the Valachian Empire. So right now, what he just said, not salsa, not flamenco, my brother. I think he's, I don't know who he's talking to. I, I can only see the back of his head, but uh, I think he's, he's. It looks like because Balroy's next to him. Balroy is Miles' uh, sworn brother. But yeah, so I think he's using brother in like a mocking sense. He's not actually talking to his brother. He's talking to this guy, this clown. Probably like a big loser, big loser, uh, L taker. Uh, probably like a, a big, dumb, stinky loser. Yeah, something like that. So yeah, uh, let's continue with the clip. Do you know? Not to? Oh, not to? Not to. Ah, uh, I think that might have been in one of the side stories. Um, basically back in 2018, um... I think with one of the special promotions, Tape released a side story where um, I think there was a special thing related to Natu. I, I, I can't really remember what story it was. I guess we'll see as they continue. What is Natu? But yeah, uh, anyway, this is, uh, I think, Reinhardt. Uh, Reinhardt was introduced in the first arc of ReZero. He's also the sword saint, uh, Reinhardt Van Astria of the, uh, the Astria family. He's uh, this the son of Heinkel Astria and uh, Luana. But yeah, he's the he's actually the grandson of Theresia van Astria and Wilhelm van Astria. Wilhelm, uh, when he married Theresia, he took the van in his name because he's so cool. Uh, basically, in EX2, this goes a lot into, connects to EX2, uh, basically there's the demi-human war, right? And Wilhelm is the sword demon. So over the whole course of the Demi-Human War, Wilhelm is fighting. There's a lot of stuff going on with him and Theresia. And, you know, I think this is covered in Season 1 of the anime, actually, when in the White Whale fight. Wilhelm, he goes like, bah, into the whale. And, yeah, it's crazy. But, anyway, I'm going on a bit of a tangent. This is Reinhardt. Um, I think this actually connects to the events of EX-1 as well. Um, I don't want to get too far into spoilers, but Reinhardt and Miles have a bit of a confrontation there. And, you know... Miles and Balroy being connected. Uh, I think it might even tie into EX4 as well. Uh, EX4 is the the travelogue of the finest. Uh, the main protagonist in that one is uh, Julius Euculius. Um, Julius Euculius is a descendant of the Euculius family, which is a long line of knights in the Lugunican Royal Army. Actually, Julius's grandfather was once saved by uh, Puck, Amelia's spirit, or spirit dad, but yeah, um, Ulysses' grandpa was on, also Joshua's grandpa, but they were on an expedition. Uh, he was on a, I think, they were having confrontation with the Gutzeko's acolyte knights on the border between Lagunica and Gutzeko. And basically, I think they got caught near the forest where Emilia lived, and then Puck appeared before them and transported them away. Uh, but yeah, that was just a little minor bit of trivia here that connects to all this. 
But yeah, basically Balroy is a character that we first see in EX4, but he's a, one of the nine divine generals of the Valachian Empire. Uh, he's position ninth, and he's known as the magical sharpshooter, and his main trait is he can use yang magic and uh, wind magic, I think. And he basically rides a flying dragon called Carrion, and he uses this with his magic to create some cool cool magic tricks. And yeah, this, this is pretty cool. Polam got to Dumulo, a port like it, a dukin at to Pole, a majataralo, potaraju, ginat to Kirusepoles, a conicarasa. Oh, okay, so actually, here we see one of the most important parts of this, uh, I think, this leak clip. Okay, so actually, in context of this leak clip, I'm not exactly sure how it fits into season. <gasps> okay, I have, a th I have a small theory. I think, um, probably they might have, this might be what Ice was telling me about. So this is added content in Arc 6, and I think what they actually did is, in Arc 6, uh, a minor spoiler here for Volume 22 of the Light Novel, chapter Arc 6, Chapter 23 of the Web Novel, but uh, in this chapter, Julius actually reads Balroy's Book of the Dead, since, oh, EX, let's get into, I have to talk a bit about EX4 now, because I brought that up, um, but basically, uh, spoilers for EX4, uh, in EX4, Julius, um, he... He, Reinhardt, and Felix go over to the Valachian Empire on a diplomatic mission because on the request of Vincent Valachia, basically their goal there is to get the non-aggression pact signed between uh, Lugunica and Valachia for the duration of the royal selection due to Lugunica's lack of a current monarch. So they want to go here, and Vincent also desires the contract, but due to the ways of the Valachian Empire, he is unable to get this done very efficiently. Uh, because he doesn't want to look weak in the public eye. So Vincent has set up a scheme to accomplish a multitude of things. One, show that even if a very powerful person rebels, uh, they will still fail, and thus it discourages the flame of rebellion and the spirit of revolt in many of the Balakian citizens. And it also shows that this um, non-aggression pact is good, and it was achieved through violence instead of peace. Which is peace is bad in Valachia. We love war, but actually, if you didn't know, Vincent Valachia, under his reign, has been the most peaceful period the Valachian Empire has ever experienced. So yeah, that's very important. But yeah, anyway, we have um, Belwar's character here talking to Julius, and it seems like this is depicting the events from EX4 slightly. It's kind of a mishmash. I guess this is just what happens in Arc Six when Julius reads the Book of the Dead. This is probably gonna play out in a sequence, an added sequence. And I'm very much looking forward to it. I mean, I've been looking forward to season three of ReZero for a long, long time. I'm sure we all have. Um, I'm really grateful to Lorem Ipsum Verb Ice for providing these leaks. Um, yeah, I love it so much. Anyway, let's continue watching. Okay, so now we have here, we have Miles and Julius. Actually, Miles uh, never got the chance to interact with Julius directly. But I guess they're going for a more symbolic, I guess, dream sequence. This might just be Julius' perspective when he's reading the Book of the Dead, maybe. I'm not too sure. It's a bit of an abstract concept, but I think it works well, given the relationship between these characters. Uh, Julius is a very vital part of the of Balrog's character and storyline. And I think I've heard leaks from Lorem Ipsum Verb Ice. Um, you may also know him as Stride in some cases. But he, he has also told me some Season 4 leaks that... This uh, this this Balroy thing is gonna get very insane. Um, yeah, it's it's very cool. You know, Balroy Temlugaf is a character in ReZero. He's he's oh actually, um, this is another minor thing, but a Balroy's hair color is ashen brown, and there's a character later in ReZero who, though it's not explicitly confirmed, is related to Balroy. We know he has the same ashen brown shade of hair. Um, so this might be Tape telling us a thing or two. This character's, this other character's name is Jazro, but it may be possible that Jazro is connected to Balroy in some sense, and we may even see that in season four to some capacity, but I'm not entirely sure myself. I'll need to get more leaks for that one. Okay, so just now what they did, um, it shows a lot of the union and I think the, the brotherhood of Pleiades, of Miles and Balroy. Um, you can see they're working together here. Ulysses is also on their side, because Ulysses, um, obviously by the time of Arc 6, 
Julius feels really bad and he regrets, I guess, breaking up this family and um, killing Bell. Oh. oh yeah, uh, let me get back into the EX4 talk. Basically, in over the course of EX4, Bell Ray is a traitor. Um, but he's not an actual traitor. He's uh, Vincent's puppet traitor. Uh, they're working together to establish this uh, non-aggression, uh, the non-aggression pact. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Julius comes back, uh, and they he fights Belroy, and then uh, we get this very nice scene where Belroy is like Meow! in the sky with Carrion, and Carrion's a very important character. Uh, Carrion was actually a flying dragon hatched as an egg uh, by Belroy and raised by Belroy. They had a very strong bond. Now, dragon riders and the f their flying dragons, uh, they actually merge their ode together, their oto. And this is a very important concept. It's it's similar to the insect cage tribe with how the insect cage tribe pairs with their bugs. They merge their ode with their bugs. Like Kathma Irlux, a general second class of the Vlachian Empire. Uh, Kathma Irlux features prominently in Arc 7 and the side story Sword Identity. Um, yeah, but that's season 4 content, so I won't get into too much. But yeah, flying dragons, uh, they're mainly constrained to use in the Vlachian Empire. Miles is also a flying dragon rider. His flying dragon is Gaius. Um, and actually, we see in EX5 that Miles and Balroy take another character to the Gladiator Island Gunnenhive, carrying a flying dragon ship with their flying dragons carrying Gaius. Um, on this island, is, uh, there's another character that you may know who is present. Um, it's pretty cool, his name is uh, Aldebaran, but there's also a cooler character called Gaito, and Gaito is just the coolest. Um, I think he talks to Balroy a bit, but uh, I don't remember entirely. Uh, yeah, there's... I think that's it. Uh, let's keep watching. <laughs> So I'm not actually, I'm not exactly too sure where this scene is supposed to take place. Uh, from what it looks like, it may even be the imperial capital of Lupgana. Um, you can see sort of the architecture, it's reminiscent of uh, Otsuka Sensei's art. Uh, you can see a lot of people dancing in the background, so this might actually be something... Hmm. Actually, I'm starting to wonder, maybe this also ties into stuff with Gauz Ralfon, because Gauz Ralfon is a non is one of the nine divine generals. He is rank five, and he has an interest in music. So maybe this musical number is somehow connected to God's passion for music. I'm not entirely sure. I wouldn't be too fond of that though, because I, I'm not the biggest fan of God's as a character. Sorry. Um, I just think it's important we get through all this for the season three leaks. Okay. I want actually wonder who, who did the animation for this scene because it looks very good. Um, if if there's anyone who knows a lot about Sakuga, uh, maybe you recognize some of the style here. I don't know. You can leave it down in the comments below. Uh, tell me, uh, maybe I'll ask Ice if he knows who animated this scene, but it's really well done so far. Uh, yeah, let's continue. Oh, okay, this is actually important. So this this does confirm my suspicion that they're in the Imperial capital of Lugana. Actually, the one in the background there is Moguro Hagane, but uh, it's also known as the Crystal Palace. So, yeah, as you can see, it has at the top of the little green thing that's I guess that's supposed to be the magic crystal cannon it's interesting because this kind of looks different to how Otsuka drew the crystal palace in in the light novel volume which one was it I don't remember maybe 32 uh, but yeah I guess that's supposed to be the crystal palace and yeah Balron and Miles are dancing in front of it so mm, I guess yeah this is part of the book of the dead scene uh, maybe, hmm, I wonder. Anyway, Mogura is a very interesting character. He also appears in EX4. He's a steel folk, or steel folk, uh, but yeah, he also has more stuff going on to him. I won't get too deep into spoilers, but just know Mogura, he's a big digger. He loves to, you know, Mogura, 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 Mogura. Uh, he loves digging. But yeah, uh, I don't know what he likes digging. Uh, personally, if I were to comment, I think Mogudo might have some, like, interest in other stuff. Like, uh... Anyway. Okay, 
Okay, so now Reinhardt is mad. Reinhardt is fucking pissed. Jeez, I've never seen Reinhardt this mad in my life. But, you know, Balrog and Miles, they're just he's kind of the best to ever do it. You know, sometimes you gotta you gotta wonder what's going on in Reinhardt's mind. I don't think in the main story you ever had uh, anything narrated from Reinhardt's point of view. But I think Reinhardt is probably... He's still mad about Balroy and Miles because he, he just is a filthy little demon man who sucks balls and penis. I'm sure Reinhardt loves to lick assholes and get his tongue all filthy with shit, um, shit clumps. Okay, let's continue. Of this nonsense! You two, out! No, Jake, I've had- Okay, so as you can see here, Julius steps in to protect Balor and Miles is because Julius is uh, very cool and based. Uh, I actually think Julius is- This might actually be Julius' subconscious as he's reading the Book of the Dead, seeing the error in his ways, and uh, maybe even confronting the possibility of what if he- what if he did something different? What if he- back in EX1, what if he was faster? What if he was able to go and stop Reinhardt from- from being a stupid little meanie poo. But yeah, that's just some of my thoughts. This is a very well animated scene from season three of ReZero. Uh, I'm really excited for the anime. Um, but yeah, just stay tuned because I'm going to talk about the leaks of the episode count and release date and uh, director. Hey, all very, it's all very cool. Enough of your bullying. Oh, oh, Okay, that's a very important part of the scene. So Julius is like encouraging Balrog and Miles to go. So that might even be like a thing regarding their deaths and probably about like the afterlife, uh, telling them to go, move on, be at rest. And that's actually very mature of Julius because I don't think Reinhardt could ever do something so cool. Uh, I guess it just goes to show that Julius cares and he holds regrets. Like you can see in um, Arc 6, Julius really regrets the death of Balroy, and he, he doesn't think Balroy deserved to die, whereas Reinhardt just gave no fucks and just murdered Miles in cold blood like the monster that he is. Miles, a man who saves uh, kids from shit orphanages that abuse them, because uh, my and uh, yeah, Miles is so cool and sexy, unlike Reinhardt. Anyway, let's continue. <laughs> Okay, so that's it for the reaction. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, but yeah, uh, I thought it was cool. Uh, I really like seeing leaks and stuff like that of early season 3 content. But yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, about the episode count and uh, the release date and the uh, director. Uh, so all I have for that is the episode count is, I think Ice told me, around 100 episodes. Because they're actually going to adapt all of EX4 and um, all of EX5 and all the content with Balroy and that's going to take up about half the season for 50 episodes they're also adding a whole Balroy Origins story arc and Miles Origins too um, but yeah it's going to go hard I also hear that um, the release date is going to be around I think uh, May 2026 uh, it's a bit delayed, so a bit unfavorable, but, you know, if it's peak fiction, I'll wait as long as I need. I hope you guys can wait, too. And the director is uh, Discord moderator Joseph John. Alright. Uh, be sure to take these leaks with a grain of salt. And, I mean, like, even though Ice is a reliable leaker, you can't always trust him. You know, Ice is always doing devious stuff. I mean, uh... Yeah, so uh, that'll be it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more epic ReZero content. Uh, I love, I'll, I'll be covering all the Season 3 leaks, uh, so if you want uh, early Season 3 information, uh, just come to me, and I'll tell you, because I'm such a nice guy. Anyway, uh, see you guys later. Adios, amigos.